Hey everybody and welcome back. Today I want to go over how I'm going to build my milk crate. So I've got a bunch of different things that I want to add on to here. Um, we've got obviously the rod holders. And then I've seen a lot of other people do this little maneuver with uh, clothing like retractable clothing lines, but I found something that I think is a little bit better and I want to talk to you guys about it. And I've also seen so many videos on how they do their own that I think it's time to do something slightly different and keep it basic. The whole point of this kayak is to pretty much prove that you don't need to spend a lot of money on a boat to get out on the water and fishing and fish well with just some basic things. So instead of screwing in all of these things to the actual milk crate, we're going to use zip ties for everything. Yes, I understand that it's not the probably the best way of doing it, but the reason I want to do it this way is twofold. In everybody's videos that you watch that are doing kayak fishing, they're constantly changing the way that they want to set up their kayak. To do that, they have to pay for more parts, they have to buy new things. Well, if you're going to drill a bunch of holes into this, you're kind of locked in. But if you use zip ties, it's going to be a lot more modular and you can adapt and adjust based on the situation, based on the body of water, and do a bunch of stuff like that that you wouldn't normally do if you were screwing stuff in. Now the key part to all of this is I've seen a lot of different things done with the anchors. I'm going to do something very awesome, and I have to actually give a shout out slightly to Favorite USA. They shipped me a fishing rod not too long ago, and they shipped it in this beautiful thing. This is 3 inch PVC piping. Kept the rod from breaking in transit. I've had three rods delivered from different shipping places that have broken in transit and I've had to replace. Favorite, you did the best job of anybody, so thank you very much. But because they sent me this, I have no actual use for it other than putting the anchor in it. And it just so happens that 3 inch PVC is perfect for this anchor. So we're going to cut this bad boy so that we can use it to hold our anchor. Oh yeah, that's going to happen. Don't break stuff. Don't do it. So let's get to work and start building the crate. So step one, we're going to put the rod holder on. Pretty simple. Because we're not using the traditional screws, we don't need any of that stuff. Just this basic piece. And I want to keep it high on here so that the zip ties have a place to go in. For the top section, I'm going to use some really big zip ties that are a little bit beefier than the smaller ones that I bought. This is so that this doesn't come off, or at least doesn't come off easily. The other reason I didn't want to do screws, it has screws then and bolts inside of your box. You're going to cut your hand on these things. I'm sorry, it's just going to happen. You're going to catch stuff on them. It's not always going to work out. Now that the first ones are on, <clears throat> we have these tag ends, but we're going to cut those off in just a minute. Let's get the bottom ones in. And this is already pretty darn sturdy. We're going to use the smaller zip ties for the bottom. I'm going to put the tag ends on the inside. This way that the actual piece, the little, I'm going to call it a knuckle, the knuckle, the little hard piece right here, um, is kind of away from everything else that you're going to be doing. Now to trim the tag ends. I would suggest leaving a little bit of space on them just so you don't have any back outs or anything like that. Piece of cake. Now something else that I bought was this bin, this bag, and it is full of these little guys. These are little um, secure straps. They aren't going to be the strongest, they're not going to be the best. You can probably peel them apart with a lot of effort, but I'm going to use these and attach them to this and use them as little rod safeties. <clears throat> so this way, if anything happens, the, the rod coming out this is going to hold on to it so you don't just lose your rod. Let's get those added. And I found them online for $10 on Amazon. 
just amazes. And we're going to use the same zip ties for this outlet. Pretty easy. Made that pretty darn easy. Alright, so now I want to find a mark on here that will allow for me to know how long I need to make this. So I'm literally just going to set this on top. Now that's actually almost perfect. Um, favorite? You don't even know that you did it, but the favorite label is the perfect location. Wow. Thanks, favorite. I'll keep your label on there just because of how awesome that is. Cue some music. Alright, so now that we've done that, it actually came with this cap. I'm going to use this cap on the rough edge that I just made, so I don't have to go do any sanding. The anchor's going to get wet, so I need to drill a couple holes in it so that when it sits in here, the water can drain out. Now for one of my favorite things, a little bit of Gorilla Tape. Um, this stuff is pretty much everything proof. So I'm gonna use it along the bottom here and probably go all the way up um, just so that it doesn't have this like plasticky look to it. And I'm probably going to take all this off. Um, so let's do that. And there we go. Um, this is going to keep it so it's not white. I hate white when it comes to like too much stuff, but this is white. The inside is an out will act as an accent point. Um, and we'll use the bigger zip ties I have to lock this in place in this corner. Uh, I want my rods in the back. I want this to my left side. Ooh. To my right side. Make sure you want to plan all this out. Um, you know, know yourself is really one of the keys. And I think when you know yourself when it comes to fishing, you can adjust yours based upon how you fish. You know, if you're a lefty, if you're a righty, if you're primarily want to reach back with like your right hand to grab things, um, which is what I'll be doing. So if I want to reach back and grab the anchor, I'm not going to do it with my left hand. I'm going to do it with my right hand, come out and then drop it because if I'm going to pull it up, I'm going to be pulling it up with my right hand to begin with. I'm not going to try and pull it up with my left. I'm right hand dominant. So it only makes sense for me to put it on the right side with those being in the back. All right. So the big ones I bought aren't actually long enough. So we need to combine them with a smaller one. Not too difficult. For this application, I want to keep both of these on the outside. I don't want to have them on the inside where they can hit my hand or anything like that. I want them definitely on the inside. Wow, that's really good already. So this is the part I've actually been dying to talk about. This is the Muddy Magna Lift. This is made for people that go hunting and hunt from tree stands. This is so you can pull your gun up into your tree stand um, and it can just be mounted like in your tree stand. I'm going to use this for my anchor cord. Um, it does say you can't go above 15 pounds. Uh, I believe that that's true. This is a 30 feet of nylon rope. I actually believe that this will be able to hold me in almost all circumstances. The anchor is only about a pound and a half. Um, I don't expect to be yanking on it very much. Uh, and if it doesn't work, it was $15. This comes with a really big clip on the back, and I found that it sits like perfectly right in there, but it's going to move a lot. So we're going to need to add a couple more zip ties here uh, just to kind of lock it in place. All right, so what I've done is I've actually crisscrossed these. There's a hole in the clip in the back. And what I've done is I crisscrossed it in here so that it won't go anywhere. And then I push the clip down. That's not, that's not budging. So I only used like a basic overhand knot here, guys, but 
what I did also was take the clip that I had and secured the tag end. So even if it does come out, it's not going to come off completely. Um, and I should be able to get my anchor back. So we can just pull this out, drop it down, pull her back up, and put it away. Digging it. But since Muddy didn't give us any love, and we don't get anything from Muddy, yeah, I think that'll look much better. <laughs> and that is going to be the base, for the most part, of my kayak uh, crate. Now, I do have one of these little Yak Gear uh, side compartments. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to rig this up just yet. I, I was given this uh, from a dear friend of mine. We're going to see. We're going to see if this is useful. But for the base build, that's all there is to it. And the whole thing cost me a... I mean, the crate was six bucks. Um, this was ten, or twenty, I'm sorry, twenty. Uh, these little cord pieces, which I'm going to use for a ton more stuff, was only ten dollars on Amazon. Another fifteen free and ten. So, all in all, I've spent very little money on this and have everything I need for my kayak. Pretty pumped. Updates to come. We've got a lot more to do. Uh, sort of on this. Sort of. If you like this video, guys, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, this is just step one. Step two is on the way. Like I said, I wanted to use zip ties for a specific purpose. The reason for that is because it's going to be a modular item. I want to be able to adjust on the go, keep adjusting as time goes on. I'm going to keep these zip ties in my car so I can do this in a matter of minutes and update and change as I need based upon the situation at hand. That's the key to kayak fishing, adjustments. It's really the key to everything, making minor adjustments as you go. And this is perfect for those minor adjustments.